chapter 1, I'll begin reading at the second verse. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into divers temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, that giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering, for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Let the brother of low degree rejoice in that he is exalted, but the rich in that he is made low, because as the flower of the grass he shall pass away. For the sun is no sooner risen with the burning heat, but it weareth the grass, and the flower thereof falleth, and the grass and the grace of the fashion of it persisteth. For also shall the rich man fade away in his ways. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God, for God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempted he any man. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Then when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin, and sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. God bless you. The word of the Lord is truly, truly blessed. Thou art strong. Yeah. 
beloved they are, uh, the family of Mother Annie Mae Mitchell. I also, uh, while I was in North Carolina, was notified of the death of a dear friend and, and former member and deacon of St. Paul, Deacon Lloyd Eddins, down in Greensboro, Alabama, uh, sudden unexpected death. Deacon Adams, and so we ask your prayers for him, his family, his daughter, Lenice, the whole family, those that have traveled uh, down for the ongoing service on yesterday, and maybe traveling back today. Uh, keep them in your prayers. Keep the entire family, the Adams family, it's also the brother, Sister Luella Eddins of our church family, and uh, Reverend Frank Eddins, pastor of Metropolitan uh, Full Gospel Baptist Church. And so uh, it's a very large extended family. And uh, Deacon Lloyd was a very faithful member and deacon uh, while he was at St. Paul. And so I too mourned his death. He was a good friend. Um, pray for one another Amen. Uh, as our churches began to go through the process of reopening and uh, reestablishing worship services inside their buildings. Let's pray that everyone does it in a way that keeps as a first priority the well-being of all of our members, uh, all of our members, our staffs, uh, that we would be very careful and cautious about how we go about it, knowing that the enemy is still floating around out there. Amen. 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 Let us look to the Lord in prayer. Our Father and our God, Lord, how we love you today. And we thank you for another Lord's Day, the opportunity to come in into your house of worship, Lord, and to give you praise, to worship your holy and righteous name. For, Lord, you truly are worthy of all of our praise, of all of our worship. You're worthy of all of our efforts, Lord, all of our dedication and faithfulness. And so I thank you, Lord, for those that are here. Thank you for our musicians. I thank you for our singer. Thank you, oh God, for our deacon. I thank you, oh God, for just life. Yes. Thank you for this day. Thank you, Lord. We come to you knowing that you are God. Yes. A great God you are. A wonderful, magnificent, merciful God. And we love you this morning. Yes, Lord. And we lift you up. Yes, Lord. Higher and higher. Yes. We say hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. We give you the highest yes, praise. Yes, we do, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Lord, we're praying this morning, uh, asking you to forgive us for our sins. Yes, Lord. Please. Even as we come to you, Lord, before we put any requests before you, Lord, we want to make sure we're right. And so, Lord, we know we haven't been truly right, but we come, Lord, to you who are truly right and perfect, asking you to forgive us, Lord. You said that if we confess our sin, you be faithful to forgive us, Lord, and then cleanse us. And so right now, I pray, oh God, that you would forgive us, each and every one of us. Please, Lord. All those under the sound of my voice this morning, you yes. would forgive us of all of our sins, all of our disobedience. And then you will cleanse us and strengthen us so that we may never sin against you again. In the name of Jesus, put your word in our hearts. Help us, Lord, on this day, never again to go against you, Lord, to turn away from you, to do things, Lord, that sadden your heart. Yes. Well, Lord, you've been too good to us. So good, Lord. 
You've been too good to us. So good. Despite our sinful ways, you've still been good. So in the name of Jesus, Lord, we just ask you now to help us. Help us, Lord. Help us live for you. Help us right now. Help us, yes. Lord, stand for you. Help us do the right thing in the name of Jesus. Lord, we presented many names to you this morning. Some names we didn't present, but you know the situations yes. of those who are sick and shut in, those who are incarcerated. You know all about them. But, Lord, we're praying for them, Lord, and we're praying for those names that are bereaved this morning, we thank you for the lives of Mother Gladys Harris, Deacon Lloyd Evans, Mother Annie Mae Mitchell. We yes. thank you for their lives, thank you, Lord. for their fellowship with us and among us. But now we ask yourself to wrap, ask you to wrap your loving arms around these families, oh God. Lift them up in the name of Jesus. Sister Helen and Sister Elaine, lift them up right now. Let them know that despite the loss of their mother, yes. that you are God that can fill the void. Yes, you can. Lift up and strengthen my wife this morning, yes, oh God. Bless her, Lord. Keep her, Lord. Keep her now. We thank you for her. Thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for being her husband, Lord. Yes, Lord. A wife who is strong and know how to handle her business. Yes. Bless her now, Lord. Keep her in these coming days. We ask your prayer. Or our prayers, Lord, we pray for the family of Deacon Lloyd Eden. Thank you for his life. Yes. Thank you for his sojourn here at St. Paul. He was a good man and a good deacon. Yes. Bless him now, Lord, Bless as he him, enters Lord. your kingdom, yes. Lord. Yes. Find fitting work for Lord, because you know he likes to keep busy. Yes. In the name of In Jesus, name of Lord. Lord. We pray for Delphine Carter, a co-worker of Sister Cheryl Collier Smith, who has yes. lost her mother. Bless her in the name of Jesus. Lift her up and hold her up. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we just thank you now. Thank you, Lord. And we ask your blessings on all the names that were not called, that maybe should have been called. Bless us all this morning. Bless us now, Lord. Stand in the gap in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we thank you now for all your many blessings. What a wonderful and good God you've been to us yes, down through the years. Through the no years. matter what challenge we woke up this morning facing, Lord, no matter what trouble we are going through, yes, Lord. Lord, no matter how we look at it, yes. you've still been good. Yes, Lord. Thank and you, Lord. you're all good right now. Yes, you are, Lord. Thank you, Thank Lord. You, Lord. Thank for you, being Lord. the God that you Thank are. you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. You've Thank been you, a good God. Yes, you have. kept us. Yes. You guided us. Yes, Lord. You blessed us. Yes, Lord. You touched us. Yes, Lord. You lifted us. Yes, Lord. Just when we needed you. Oh, yes, Lord. You've always Lord. been there. Yes. So we say hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Praise your holy name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We praise you. Yes, Lord. We thank you. Yes, Lord. We glorify you. Oh, yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We ask your blessings on all of our leaders, Lord. Oh, yes, touch them, Lord. Bless this sick and dying world, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Protest everywhere. Oh, yes. People are upset and angry. Police killings and brutality. Oh, right. Killings of one another. Even within our own race. Yes. So we just pray for peace. peace. We pray for love that it will abound in the hearts of men. That somehow men will find a way to love one another you have commanded. You said this way, by this way, the world would know that they are your disciples if we love one another. Help us to love one another. Help us now, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Help us to love with the love of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Lord, we need you. Yes, we do. The world needs you today like it's never needed yes, you before. Yes, yes. Pray for our children. Oh, my Lord. 
Pray for our young people. Yes. Oh, yes. Show them a more excellent way. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I know they think they know it all. <laughs> but, oh, Lord, show them. Show them, Lord. Help them. Bring them back into the fold. In a mighty way as only you can. Help us to understand them. Help us to listen to them. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we just thank you now. As we go forward in this service, Lord, let your spirit reign. Yes, Lord. Let it anoint everything that's done and said. So when it's said and done, you will be pleased. You will get the glory. Somebody's heart will be touched. Yes. That will lead them to Christ. Thank you, Lord, now for hearing and answering this prayer. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Again, we thank God for you. And thank God for your presence here with us. Whichever way you're coming, Facebook. YouTube. Thank you, Lord. However you arrived, we're glad that you're here. Amen. I guess I first need to apologize and <laughs> have to be honest. Uh, as I thought about the message that I have prepared uh, to preach today, it was only until couple of days ago that I realized that today was Father's Day. And so I don't have a typical or traditional uh, Father's Day message. Uh, but I think if you're a father and uh, you focus in on this message, it certainly can apply to you as a father although the message is certainly for everyone, certainly for every Christian. Um, we've read the text uh, from the book of James, and I won't repeat any verses, just ask you to open your Bible there. I'm going to uh, repeat several verses as I go through the message out of that chapter of James the first chapter, uh, but the subject uh, of today's message is God's school of endurance. God's school yeah. of endurance. Uh, most of you watching, I almost say all of us, at some point went to school, uh, depending on our ages, uh, would determine how much schooling we've had, aging, age and experiences, life experiences. Some of our older people had, had to quit school at an early age. Uh, as I thought about this, I started counting up the years out of school that I had of formal education, uh, being 72 years now, I realize I've had 26 years of formal education, beginning with elementary school. Um, and as I thought about this lesson, though, and I thought about God's school, God, as a teacher, he, do, he does things a little differently uh, than what we experienced uh, in our classrooms or in our educational experiences. Uh, most of us are used to studying lessons and then uh, being given a test on the lesson. Well, the Lord goes about it a little differently, mm -hmm. as we'll see from this text. Uh, God first gives the tests, 
Then he gives the lesson. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Well, uh, you'll figure this out in a minute. But it goes without saying that we all go through trials and tests. We all do. Uh, in this passage, uh, James says, uh, diverse temptations, uh, which simply means different kinds of temptations. We all deal with that Amen. Uh, in life. And the truth of the matter is all of us don't like dealing with it because we are all seeking some high level of life satisfaction. Isn't that the truth? Amen. I mean, we all just want to be satisfied. Yes. We, we all just want to wake up one day just totally happy. Yeah. No issues. We want prosperity. Don't we want prosperity? Amen. Amen. You want some money, don't yeah. you? You want yeah. some cash? Yeah. Uh, amen. Yeah. We want contentment. Yes. We, we, we would like to have a day or days or weeks without any problems, without any issues. Matter of fact, of the matter is we don't want them. We don't want tribulation. We don't want problems. Yet the text uh, tells us that it's tribulation or trouble that works patience. And patience literally in this text means endurance. Amen. Amen. James is basically telling us that without patience or endurance, we will not experience any of this life satisfaction that we are all seeking. We won't experience that prosperity or contentment if we don't go through anything. Right. Amen. Oh, well, you don't believe me. I, amen. amen. Now, now, uh, this Greek word for patience, as it's used in the text, means to abide under. God lays certain burdens upon us. He, he lets certain things happen to us. They, they become our test. And we must abide under those burdens in order to experience the victory. We go through stuff. We, we have challenges and problems and yeah. issues. And the fact of the matter is, most of us quit too soon. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. We ought to hang that quit up somewhere because we, we quit everything. Yes. Amen. Amen. Come in church. We quit the church. Yeah. Amen. Somebody get on our nerves. We stop coming. We quit. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Quit the church is to quit God. Yes. Because the church was, was established by God. For God. Yeah. We quit. We will not learn or accomplish whatever it, if we pursue unless we learn to endure. Amen. Got to learn how to hang in there, folks. Right. We will not build character. The text says unless we learn to endure. Amen. Amen. You think about the successful people in life that we know or hear about. And, and we like to gravitate toward them when they're successful and talk about their successes. But if you really got into them and 
and really got to know them and their life story, you know that they went through some stuff to get to where they are. Amen. Amen. That's Michael Jordan. <laughs> Amen. Amen. That's uh, uh, President Obama. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. They had to go through yes. mm -hmm. some stuff. James here says, my brethren, count it all joy mm -hmm. when you fall into diverse temptations. Mm -hmm. The word for temptations in the Greek in this test means trials or testing. Yes. I know that messes us up right now. Mm -hmm. count, count it all joy mm -hmm. when I'm going through. Well, look here. You need to understand. I don't care how saved you are, how holy roly <laughs> you are, you're going to go through some stuff. Amen. That's true. Amen. And, 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 and mm. the Lord really does test us. Yes, he does. Mm. Amen. Amen. You, you want to, uh, all in the church, one around, want to go up high, some high position, and, and, and you ain't even passed the test of where you are. Uh -oh. Ooh. Uh -oh. Come on now. Amen. Amen. You want to be the leader of the choir, but you can't even get the choir rehearsal on time. Mm. <laughs> mm. Amen. Amen. Yeah, the Lord tests us. The, the devil tempts us. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Now, he will tempt you. Yeah, he will. Oh, yes, he will. But the Lord tests us. Yeah. Many of us right now are going through some tests. Mm -hmm. uh, this pandemic has tested a whole lot of folks. Mm -hmm. Tested you to stay inside. Yes. Tested you to put on your mask. Mm -hmm. Tested you to wash your hands every mm -hmm. five minutes. A whole lot of you to fail the test. Yes. Amen. I was down in North Carolina last weekend. It seemed like all them folks done flunked the test. <laughs> yeah, they don't believe there's no pandemic down there. The devil will tempt us. Amen. But God, the scripture says in verse 13, God never tempts us to sin. Amen. Amen. Text says, let no man say, when he is tempted, I'm tempted of God. Mm -hmm. For God cannot be tempted with evil. Right. Neither tempted he any man. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. The devil Amen. tempts us. The, the devil wants us to stumble. Hmm. The devil wants to prove to us that we don't have a God that can keep us mm -hmm. out of sin. Right. He wants us to yes. stumble. Yes. Yes. That way he can accuse yes. us. Mm. Yeah, you can tell God, look at that. I thought that was one of yours. Mm. Yeah. Look at how they act. Yeah. Lord does not tempt us. But he will test us. The devil will try to cause us to stumble, but the Lord wants to cause us to stand. Amen. Mm -hmm. To grow. Amen. Amen. Now the text does not say uh, if we are tempted, but it says when Amen. we are tempted. Amen. So we're going to be tempted. Mm. Amen. The devil going to tempt you not to get up and go to church, not to get up. I, I'm, I'm just, man, I don't want to get too far. So, but somebody was asking me about how this whole thing has worked doing uh, sermon services online and doing Bible study and, and what about tithing off and now I said man look ain't, don't seem like nothing changed the same people that were doing it inside they're doing the same thing outside amen, mm. amen. Mm -hmm. you know, and I, I, don't, I still can't explain I just knew it would be more people in Bible study because where you at supposed to be in the house with your amen. computer amen <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Same few. Same Sunday school people. Same. 
Hey man. Hey man. We just the same old people, I guess. Ah, but in order to learn this endurance and patience, there must first be something we have to endure. Hey Amen. Amen. We got to go through. Romans 5 and 3 says, not only so, but we also glory in our suffering. Mm. Because we know that suffering produces perseverance. Man, we don't go through nothing. How are we ever going to be able to stand? Amen. Mm. Amen. Amen. But we don't want to hit it. We don't want to go through nothing. Amen. Although uh, we should not get the idea that in this Christian life, and I've said this before, that life is going to be all sunshine and roses. Be that way. Amen. Amen. That there will be no heartache, no tears, no bad days, no difficult experiences. When Jesus said himself in John 16, 33, in this life you're yeah. going to have yeah. tribulation. Yeah. Yep. Amen. Amen. And if he said it, we shouldn't be afraid of the word of God. We shouldn't be afraid of tribulation. If he says we're going to have it, when we go through tribulation, that does not mean that something is is wrong that we've done something right, wrong. Right, right. It, 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 what it means is that God's word is truth. Yes. yes. He said it and it's going it's happening. It's yes. truth. These trials or tests mm -hmm. that we face lets us know that God is truly God. Yes. In the worst of times. Yes, he is. Amen. I mean, you tell me. What, what kind of faith uh, that hasn't been tested can be trusted? Mm. Mm. Well, let me tell you five truths we can learn uh, through tests and trials, and then I'll be done. He says here, my brother, count it all joy when you fall into divers' temptations. Uh, enjoyment? Really? When we're going through, to count it all joy, don't get it twisted, it does not mean to grin and bear it. But it means to rejoice in the Lord. Overcoming Christians are joyful Christians. Amen. What if, why are we rejoicing if we're going through what we're rejoicing? Rejoicing because we're anticipating God's deliverance Amen. out of the situation yes. that we're in. We're in the situation, but Amen. we're Amen. praising God because we know he's promised never to leave us, that he's going to bring us out. Amen. Right. Amen. That's why we can have joy in the midst of our trials. Yes. Oh, I know it sounds crazy, especially on this Father's Day, if you're a father, and my God, if you're a black father in this Lord day and time. Yes. It's hard to find a little joy in the midst of your situation. But God is there. Yes, he is. So he says, count it all joy. Even if you're going through. Police can act crazy, but count it all joy. Amen. Amen. Joy in the midst of the trials. Remember over in Acts 16, Paul and Silas sang praises at midnight. Locked up in a Philippian jail. Yep. What happened? Mm. God delivered them. The Hebrew writer says in Hebrews 10 and 34, You suffered along with those in prison and joyfully accepted the confiscation of your property because you knew that you yourselves had better and lasting possessions. Amen. You didn't worry about no material stuff. He said you suffered along with those in prison and joyfully accepted the confiscation of your property because you knew that you yourselves had better and lasting possession. The first fruit of our the first fruit of our tribulation ought to be enjoyment. Oh, I know that don't make sense mm. to you. Mm. Second. 
Corinthians 7 verse 4 says, I have spoken to you with great frankness. I take great pride in you. I am greatly encouraged in all our troubles. My joy knows no bounds. Church, we grow. We mature, we mature through our trials. Uh, the fourth verse in James 1 says, But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Uh, now this word perfect uh, does not mean sinless. But the Greek word here means mature. Mm -hmm. Hebrews 2 verse 10 says it became him for whom are all things and by whom are all things in bringing many sons unto glory to make the captain of their salvation perfect through sufferings. Jesus was made sinless through suffering. He was already perfect. Mm. I mean, he was not made sinless through suffering. He was already perfect yes. and sinless. The psalmist in verse in Psalm 4, verse 1 says, Hear me when I call, O God, of my righteousness, that thou hast enlarged or grown me when I was in distress. Have mercy upon me and hear my prayer. It's just to say that we grow the most when problems come and we learn to endure them. Mm -hmm. Enlargement or maturity or growth comes when we learn to endure. Mm -hmm. This is God's school Amen. of enduring. Yes. Uh, I need to tell you why I said many Christians today are not very mature. Mm. Many teachers and preachers have great gifts and ability, but they are not mature, and many of them fall. Mm. The bottom line is we grow when trials come. We are to be able to count it all joy to enjoy life even in the midst of our trials. And then there's enlightenment. James says we gain wisdom through our trials. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. He says in verse 5, If any of you lack wisdom, Amen. let them ask of God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They give it to all men liberally, and upbraid it not, and it shall be given him. I don't know about you, but when trials and difficulties come in my life, I need right. wisdom. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 Right. Oh, help me. Yeah. Don't nobody yakking in my ear. Mm. Remember Job's yeah. friends came to him <laughs> and like trying that. to just tell Job what was going on. But what Job needed at that point was some wisdom. Yes, yes. Uh, Job, yes, sir. Job, he debated with God. God asked Job questions that Job could not even begin to answer or explain. But by the end of the book, Job stopped asking why, and he began to remember who. Yes. Yes. Right. <laughs> Amen. Right. And that's what we must do, church. In the midst of our trials, we don't need to be going to... Oprah and uh, turn on TV, Dr. Field and I, right. uh, trying to get some answers. We need to go to the who. Right. To the who. Must look to heaven and remember who. Amen. As counselors, yeah, we ought to yeah. encourage. Be encouraged. But as counselors, we're not to solve other people's problems. We're to bring them to God. Yes. Yeah. Because we cannot answer the why. We can always point them to the who. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Even in tribulation, God will give us wisdom. Yes, yes. If we pray and ask him for it. It is a mark of growth 
when we stop asking why mm. and start remembering who. When trials, when trials come, problems come, we need to ask God for wisdom. Amen. I know we all feel like we got the answers to everybody else's problems except our own. But the best answer or the best thing you can tell anybody is to seek God. Because yes. he said here, if anybody mm -hmm. lacks it, let them ask of God. Yes. Amen. 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 With a rock-like faith, we can ask God for wisdom. Mm -hmm. And he will give it to us. God won't trust a Christian who is like a wave of the sea. Mm. Amen. Verse 8 says, a double-minded man is unstable in all oh, his ways. Ooh. Amen. Amen. Can't be wishy-washy. Church yeah. can't be thinking one way today and another way tomorrow. Mm. Can't be rolling with God today and with the devil tomorrow. Mm. Mm. Amen. 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 Both knowledge and wisdom come from God. Godly knowledge is learned from looking around. Wisdom is learned from looking up. Mm. We learn more in trials, problems, and tribulation than we, we learn when the sun is shining. Amen. So God will enlighten us, even in the midst of our trials. And then... There is this enthronement. He says in verse 12 that if we stay in there and hang in there, God will give us the crown of life. Yes, he says, blessed is the man that endures temptation. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. Yes, in difficulty and pain and sorrow, in perplexity, we can learn to live as kings and queens. That's right. We can learn to live as such uh, without trials. Uh, that 12th verse says we will be crowned. Mm. And this is not referring to the crown that the choir sings about. Mm. Not the crown we're going to get in heaven or crown in the future. This is the crown that we can get right now. Yeah. Romans 5.17 says, For if by one man's offense death we resign by one, much more than they which received abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by one, Jesus Christ. We are to reign in life. Amen. God wants us to have Dominion. He wants us to be on the top and not the bottom. Right. Amen. 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 But without endurance, we will not have enthronement. If we do not bear the cross, we cannot wear the crown. Mm -hmm. When we learn to endure the trials of life until God is finished, then He will give us crown of life. Yes. We do not learn to rule over our own spirit, then we will be in danger. We will be like a city without walls. God wants us to be kings and queens and to rule over this life. The enthronement that is promised even in the midst of our trials and our tribulations, mm -hmm. we must endure. Then there's enrichment. The fact that God will provide for all of our needs. Again, verse 4 says, Let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, not wanting for nothing. According to the text, we can come to a place where there's nothing we want or lack. This does not mean that you're going to hit the lottery tomorrow. Mm. Mm. Amen. Or the Super Bowl. Or the, Amen. Or the 
the Super Bowl or the Super whatever y'all mm, play. Yeah. You, you know you play it, don't yeah. you? Know. Power. Power. Don't yeah. even, <laughs> there you go. There you go. Don't, don't even try to perpetrate. You know you out there. I don't you know, play it. But. Right. Spending all your time and money on the lottery. <laughs> if we want to know, if you really want to know how rich you are, instead of trying to hit the lottery, uh -huh. mm, just add up everything you got. That money came by and death I can't take know. away. Come on now. Then right. tell me how That's rich right. you are. That's right. That's right. Mm. Money came by and death can't take away. Yes. Mm. The word wanting in this passage means necessity. Mm. God will bring us to this place. Mm -hmm. If we learn him to trust, or if we learn to trust him mm -hmm. to meet our every need. Yes, he will. Amen, church. Amen. Oh, James says over in the fifth chapter, in verses seven and eight, uh, and I'm reading from the NIV. He says, "Be patient, mm -hmm. uh, brothers and sisters, until the Lord's coming." He said, "Look how the farmer waits for the land mm -hmm. to yield its valuable crop, mm -hmm. patiently waiting for the autumn and spring rain." You too, be patient. Yes. Stand firm, because the Lord's coming is near. Church, God wants to give you riches, mm -hmm. but you can't hurry the harvest. Amen. 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 In, the, in the Bible, we see the former rain and the latter rain. Mm -hmm. Former rain comes in the fall, mm -hmm. causes the seed to germinate. The latter rain comes in the spring, right. causes the grain to swell up. And open and get ready for the harvest. Mm. The scriptures tell us that we must endure if we want the harvest. If we want to be enriched, we must endure. We must stay in there through the difficult times, through the troubling times, through the challenging times. We must take a stand. Mm. The problem with many today. Too many is that we want it now. Yes, right now. We got this microwave mindset. Yes, yes. Come on. Right now. Amen. 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 That's why a whole lot of us are drowning yes. in mm. credit card debt. Mm. Amen. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> want it now. Well, got to have it. Wait. Looking across the street at what Bubba got. Mm. Now we want one. <laughs> wants to give us. Church, he wants you to have. He, yes, he, does. he wants you to be happy. He wants yes. that's life satisfaction. But you got to do it his way. Yes. Mm. You got to go to his school of yes. endurance. Yes. You got to pass those tests. Yes. Mm. Amen. 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 You got to get your master's degree okay. in okay. patience. Mm. Then get a doctorate in endurance. Yes. Amen. Come on now. He wants to give you life. He wants to bless you. But you must learn how to endure. Mm. As I close, I just want you to remember, God is our instructor. Yes, yes he is. In his school. And if we are to learn how to endure, we must take his courses to get the degree. Mm not a school of hard knocks. Right. Amen. Mm -hmm. The whole school of hard knocks involves the difficulties that we bring on ourselves. Amen. Amen. Because ah, now, wait a minute. Everything, every time you're going through something, maybe because God is testing Amen. you. Some of this stuff you brought Amen. on yourself. Yes. Mm. Yes. Mm. yes. Hallelujah, Lord. That's yes. the school of hard knocks. Yes. Amen. Amen. God's school of endurance involves the trials and testings that come from a God that helps us and enables us to endure the difficulties, challenges of our lives. Can't do it. We'll never be able to do it unless we know Jesus. Do you know Jesus yes, today? Lord. 
Whatever it is you're going through, whatever trial you're facing today or tomorrow, mm. you don't want to face it alone. No, you don't. Amen. Amen. Whatever it is, even that maybe you've gotten yourself into, yeah. mm. we serve a God that can deliver. Oh, he's able. A God that can do anything but fail. Yes, sir. And so I want to extend an invitation right now. To anyone out there who does not know the Lord Jesus in the pardoning of your sin, right now, right now, wherever you are, whoever you are, whatever you've done, God loves you. Yes, He does. He's a good God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. He wants to save you. He wants to deliver you. He wants to lift you up. Yes, He does. Raise you up and bless you. Yes. Hold you firm, mm -hmm. even in the midst yes. of all that we're going through. Thank you, Messed up government, mm -hmm. a shaky leader. Mm -hmm. Oh, But God is able. Yes, oh, yes, He is. Thank you. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't get to the point. Well, you say that this life that God has given you and blessed you with is not even worth living. Mm, 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 mm. Don't oh, give up. Yes. Don't turn to the bottle. Yes. Don't roll up nothing. Yes. Don't snort up nothing. Yes. Don't give up. Don't give up. Stay in there. Yes. Mm. Even when the devil is coming at you with both hands, mm. come in there. Hang in there. Oh, have mercy. Stay with Jesus. Stay with him. He'll give you the victory. Yes. Bless you. Yes. Go to God's school of endurance. Take the lessons. Pass the tests. Receive the crown. In Jesus' name. In Jesus. God bless you today. Amen.
God bless you. We thank God for you again for being with us on this day. We thank God for his word. A uh, couple of announcements before we leave you. Uh, I do uh, want to uh, thank everyone uh, and anyone who participated in the faith rally on last Saturday over at Ypsilanti High School what I understand it was a great success uh, with over 500 people there and 35 over 35 faith leaders pastors and ministers so we thank God for them it was peaceful and uh, the march was peaceful and uh, we give a lot of credit to uh, Pastor Jason Richardson of the Reach Church who was the visionary behind it the whole thing, but we thank everyone who came out and participated. Uh, related to that, next Sunday uh, at 2 o'clock, next Sunday, June 28th, uh, there will be a Peacemakers prayer vigil, uh, and this will take place at the Washtenaw Administrative Complex, which is at Hogback in Washtenaw, or that building where the jail um, is, um, uh, I guess it's the same building, um, the Washington Administrative Complex, all back in Washington, uh, right there where the jail is. Uh, and this will be again the faith leaders uh, and the sheriff, J uh, Sheriff Jerry Clayton, and fasting, picnic, and prayer. Uh, we'll try to get this up on the website and also on the Facebook. Uh, we'll try to get it uh, to make sure you'll be able to also pass it around as a flyer. But this is next Sunday, uh, uh, June 28th, and the flyer says, Let's crowd to God together. Uh, and so for justice, mercy, love, peace, and racial reconciliation, in our community. And so uh, let's go, let's plan to be there. I plan to be there and I hope you will be there also next Sunday, two o'clock. Uh, I also wanna remind the leadership of St. Paul that we will meet uh, this Thursday evening at 7 p.m. as we uh, try to develop a plan and process for reopening our church building. I need all leaders, deacons, trustees, ministry leaders, everyone who is uh, wearing that title leader uh, to be at the church building with your mask on at 7 p.m. Amen. Amen. You don't have your mask on, well, put you out. <laughs> no. Well, uh, you're going to have to wear one. We'll give you one. But come prepared to wear your mask. There's enough uh, space uh, in here for us to spread out and have the meeting since uh, it wasn't uh, reasonable to have it on social media or on the Internet uh, since everyone uh, does, does not have that availability. If there's nothing else, I want to thank everyone who was here today. Again, we pray for those who are traveling to Alabama and back, and for the family of Lloyd Eddins, uh, the Harris family, and my wife's family, the Mitchell family. Uh, keep them lifted in prayer. Thank God for our musicians, Brother CJ and Brother Michael Cox. Thank you very much for your presence here. God bless you. Let us look to the Lord in prayer. Father and our God, we thank you now, Lord, for all that has uh, taken place here in this past hour. We pray that everything that has been done has been pleasing in your sight. Forgive us for anything that we've done wrong. As we go now, Lord, we go to a world that is fractured and splintered. We just ask that your love would draw together, that you would help man to come to a reconciliation of love in one another. Bless us now, Lord, as we go from this place. May the love of God, 
love of our loving Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the sweet fellowship and communion of the Holy Ghost, may it rest, rule, and abide in each and every one of us, henceforth, now, and forever. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.